I had this case about a year ago and it really stuck with me. Uh, I'm gonna change details for privacy. So this is a two-year-old little boy who mom was picking up from daycare. And when she picked him up, she noticed that his head was really swollen on one side. He had a big like bruise or hematoma. And that was concerning because the day before when she picked him up, he had a big bruise on his leg. And both times the daycare saw nothing. They had no explanation. So mom is concerned either no one's watching him at daycare or someone's actually hurting him at daycare. So she brought him in for us to take a look. And um, looking at him on the bed, I first noticed like two-year-olds are usually bopping around and he's just laying there. He's not moving around very much. He looks really tired. Um, he's also very pale and he does have big swelling on his head, a big bruise on his leg and some smaller bruises. And then these little red dots as well on his face and on his trunk, which is a little concerning. So decided to start with some lab work. I put the labs in, I go see my next patient. And before long, I'm getting a call from the lab and they're saying, hey, we need you to take a look at this because something's going on with his CBC, which is white cells, red cells, platelets. I sit at my computer and I open it up and his white count is 72, which is super high. His hemoglobin is four, which is really low. And his platelets are eight, which is really low. Um, and that's concerning because all three of these cell lines are made in the bone marrow. And a lot of times we see something like that when there's a bone marrow problem. Uh, and one of the big ones that we see in this age group is something like leukemia or blood cancer. I called Hemonc and they went and looked at the blood under a microscope and confirmed the presence of something called BLAST, which are the leukemia cells. Uh, and then we had to go tell mom that uh, her beautiful little boy had leukemia. And I don't know if there's a good way to break that news or not. Leukemia is the most common childhood cancer and it's cancer of the white blood cells. And there are different types of white blood cells. So there are different types of leukemia. And thanks to research and technology and nationwide collaboration, the survival rates for some of these cancers at five years are upwards of 93%. The symptoms that would make us concerned for leukemia are things like fatigue, weight loss, night sweats, swollen lymph nodes. And because these bad white cells are being produced in the bone marrow, where the red cells and platelets are also being produced, it impacts their production. So you can also have low platelets, which means easy bleeding and bruising and low red cells, which means they look really pale and they're very anemic. And because that bone marrow is being impacted, bone pain, joint pain, and limping can also be signs. September is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month, and I think it's important to recognize that less than 4% of our federal cancer research budget goes to pediatric cancers. What? I'm raising money for the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation, and if you go to the link in my bio and donate on that site, I will match all donations up to $5,000. My patient was diagnosed with pre cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He is over a year into treatment. He's currently in the maintenance phase and he's doing exceptionally well, a total rock star.